all right guys welcome back to project portsmouth this is season five episode two and we've, we, so i'll show you what the results because we're about to play against walls but i'll show you the results bit of a mixed bag played brighton in the last episode so we play against west ham and we for some reason this is crazy right so we got a red card Devine, in the 16th minute we were defensively so solid in this game uh, and we managed to score via an own goal towards the end of the first half uh, it was I think the shot hit the post or something like that. I'll show you now. And um, bounced off the defender into the goal. And it, it oh, bounced off the goalkeeper. And it's just really unfortunate for West Ham. But defensively, all over it. There's barely any highlights because we just kept them out. And, um, you know, slightly rotated. You know, Hardly came in. Um, Lopez started. Penaranda started. So you've noticed slightly rotated. Managed to get a 1 0 win. And this is where we, you know, things started to go wrong. This is another game similar to the Liverpool game where we didn't concede in the first half. We were defensively so sound in the first half. Um, but then in the second half, they just ran away with it. They just got, you know, they got into a groove and they managed to score a couple of goals. And unfortunately, we couldn't really do much about it. Um, I, don't, I don't really have a plan B at the moment. And we sort of, if, if our formation just isn't working, I don't really have alternatives because... We don't have any wingers at the club. They're all um, out on loan. So, I say, whatever we do, I have to go for a narrow formation of some sort. And Pogba, a brilliant strike there. Um, like I said, we have to play a narrow formation. And I don't really have a backup narrow formation. I'm going to have a look to see if I can do a four, like maybe a 4 one 2 one 2 But I haven't looked into it yet, so I need to very soon. Um, do we have a winter break? We don't. Okay. Um... So then we played against Arsenal. We got a one 0 win. Uh, again, another game where you know they were on top, but we were defensively so sound. And in the ninety fourth minute, I'd already gone on to defensive. I'd already started time wasting, just to try and get a point. And we win the ball back. And Devine runs all the way down the line. A lovely pass into Legali, who slots it in. And we got a one 0 win against Arsenal, which is absolutely fantastic in the league. And then we lost 4-0 again. That's two 4 nils in a row, and we lost 3-0 to Liverpool. We're really struggling to score against the big teams. Um, you know, our strikers just don't really quite have it. Um, we can only score against lower-end teams. And this one just started badly. It was 3-0 at half-time. I tried, and then it, they finished right at the end. We, I tried to just get a goal back, just to you know, get, get a goal. Um, but that was a lovely strike from Jota. Um... Next one was a free kick delivered in and Ampadu on the header. And then <laughs> this one, Guerrero, Guerrero crossing it into Lukaku. I think it was, was it Lukaku again at the end? Who was it? It was Lukaku. So, yeah, 4-0 loss. We, we wanted to just try and get a goal at the end to prove we could, but we ended up conceding the fourth, which is fantastic. So in this, I'm actually going to have a quick look now, because we don't... Um, we had this formation, but I'm not really a fan of that, to be honest. I haven't used this formation at all in, like, since sort of middle of last season. But I'm thinking maybe we could try out a 4-1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two, um, just to see how it'd work. Um, so maybe you could put... Well, you'd put Byers in that role. He's the only one who can really play there. Maybe put... Um, maybe Lopez is probably a good shout. So that that could be an option. I don't think I want to do it in this game, but that's an option. Um, I can always give it a go. So anyway, let's get to the match screen. Oh, I'll show you the, the league table, actually. Nope. So uh, we're in 10th place, but we have a game to play. So we could, we could leapfrog Norwich. Uh, get back into ninth. Um, I mean, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. If we finish here in the season or anywhere sort of above the relegation zone, I'm happy. So if we can, we're not obviously we're playing quite well against the teams you know lower expected to struggle this year, and we're just getting absolutely battered by the teams that we that we expect to get battered by. So I do hope that we can pick up a win. Um, in terms of for this game, we are going to go back to our usual. Um, but who are we going to play? So let's take out Byers for this game. We're going to give Lopez a start. Every time he plays, he always performs. So we're going to give him a go. 
Um, maybe we put in Stuart, to be honest. Give uh, Skip a bit of a break. He doesn't need one, but Stuart's a good, good enough deputy. We'll play Hoover in that centre-back spot. Good little player. Um, and I think... Oh, Hardly can come back on the bench for Downing. He's a really good player. Homegrown at club, isn't he? Oh no, we got him... Okay, not quite a homegrown at club, but he will be eventually, and he's a good little player. Um, I don't think there's anyone else want to play. Like our strikers haven't been scoring recently, which is worrying. Apart from Nagalius, who obviously scored against Arsenal. Um, yeah. Uh, so I've been mixing around these recently. I'm not still not a hundred percent convinced. I think ultimately we need to be um, on a high tempo. In terms of the directness, I'm not I'm not sold. But we're going to go out with a high tempo. I'm slightly lower than that. Um, I guess we just submit the team and get into the game. Okay, what are we going to say to him? We're going to say, I know we're the underdog. Oh, I don't know. I expect a win today. They, don't, they didn't like that. Okay, we're just going to say there's no pressure on you today then. Oh, they're all confused. Oh, well, that's not a good start. But hopefully their confusion will lead to success. So let's get into the game. I decided to go out positive. Um, I don't know. I feel like if we, we don't want to be on the back foot right from the start, and it looks as though we're going to struggle. But it's a good clearance, and oh, we can't win it back. We can win it back now. Kaiser over to Ligali. Keep going, Ligali. He's hit the post. One of our best players so far this season. He's hit the post. Such a shame. But I feel like we're doing okay. Considering we're away from home against, you know, Wolves, big team. We're doing alright. Let's uh, demand a bit more from him. I think we'll go cautious for the rest of the half. And then we'll switch back to positive maybe in the second half. McKenna. Okay, nice working. Norris is down the line. This wasn't a bad ball, but it didn't really go to anyone. And they've picked it up now. We need to win the ball back. Okay, not really getting enough pressure on the ball here. And they've had a good opportunity. Let me just up our um, just up our pressing. I'm actually thinking it's just up our line of engagement as well. Get a bit more at them because we're not doing too badly so far. But um, they're working it around. It looks like oh, they've hit the post. Oh no, both teams have hit the post now. Okay, well I mean we've got all the ball. <laughs> um, okay. I, I'm happy with your performance so far. Keep it up. Because obviously we are happy. We don't want to be losing this game. Um, in terms of what we can do with this. Let's go back up positive. And maybe let's lower our directness. Sorry if that clicking so loud. I've realised when I'm editing I always think. Oh, but now the clicking is so loud. I need to get a new mic. Uh, not a new mic. A new mouse. My mic, mic's fine. But... Uh, so we, we've got down Matheson here, but they are they're working it around quite well. They're doing quite not doing short passing by any means. They're doing some really good long balls or medium, you know, uh, medium length passes. Don't know where I'm going with that. The guy's having a poor game though. Obviously, he's hit the post already today. I think we are going to bring him off. Um, the guy can come off for Asanuma. We'll make Asanuma an advance forward, I guess. I'm actually considering putting cam on to help link that midfield then if that's how we're going to play um i think lopez can come out for buyers he can be our advanced playmaker to link up that midfield to the attack and hopefully he can do a good enough job he's i, I there's a lot of hype around him when i bought him i thought he'd be really good he's not really turned out that way and we won the ball back, and Aston Newman might have a chance here, right off the bench, and it's a good block. I think that's going to count as a highlight. I don't think it's going to be anything else, but we'll see what happens from this corner. Can Byers get a good ball in? No, I don't think... We're still working it around, but I think this is going to be the end of the highlight. I want to put hit early crosses on. I think with wing backs, surely that's going to help. Like, Norris is so good at it anyway. But I don't know if that's going to cause us to lose possession. Um, I'm going to try it just for the rest of this game. Who knows? Who knows? Um, I guess 
Lurakima is a bit tired. Nah, we'll leave him on. There's only 10 minutes left. You can get through it, buddy. Defensively, been really, really sound this game. Is there anything else we can do to close out the game? Yeah, Stewart's on a on a booking, and he's our ball-winning midfielder. It's not been a very exciting game, has it? But we finished nil-nil. That get that's a point we didn't have before. Um, it's consolidates tenth place. Do you know what? Well done, lads. You proved people wrong by avoiding defeat, and defensively we were amazing. Bass, I didn't even mention it. I forgot to tell you. Um, Bass had to come in. Now Max injured for a few weeks. Aston is still searching for his first competitive goal. Not a good start from him. I think Galbraith's got to go. Bought him in for free. I think we're going to have to lose him for a quarter of a million. I thought I had such high hopes for him, but he's just not improved. And he's on 11k a week. Holding out for a draw, I think that's fair to say. You know, they were definitely the better team, but we were defensively brilliant. Um, Manzagala's finally done something. He's been terrible season for for Birmingham, but so uh, that is that. We've got a draw. I think that's a very good point against a very good Wolves team. Um, let's have a look at the schedule. Well, let's have a look at the D table first. After ten games, obviously Brighton still have to play, but below us only Tottenham have to play, and they can't catch us. Tottenham are doing terrible. Who they lost against? Oh, so a couple of big teams. Um, we are in 10th, where I'm losing track, okay, so we're on 14 points after 10 games, 4 wins, 2 draws, 4 losses, unfortunately in our losses we've been smashed in nearly all of them, so that was always going to be a little bit tricky, um, but pff, it's alright, it's alright, look at this form for a promoted team, it's not too bad, uh, we've got Huddersfield, the championship side Huddersfield in the F Carabao Cup 4th round, I'd hope we can get a win, I do think we need to be pushing for a cup because um, we're obviously not going to be able to challenge for Europe so it'd be good to get into a good cup. Hopefully we can get a win there. Um, I realise I'm not talking into the muffler so I don't know if that's working at all but let's give it a go. Um, so like I mentioned I want to come back for um, Southampton. So we're going to play because there's an extra game in there obviously for the Carabao Cup so we're going to play these six games and come back for Southampton which is obviously the South Coast Derby uh, the big one and uh, hopefully we can pick up a result and after that I guess I'm not too sure we'll have to just see what happens if we get further in any competitions we'll have to see what happens but uh, if you're still here thank you very much for watching um, I hope you're enjoying the series obviously it's a bit of a it's a bit of a you know, considering the whole thing about, you know, we getting sacked last season and managing to turn our job, uh, two seasons ago, managing to turn it around and do really well. Um, I hope that's not been an issue for anyone. I've, I'm just enjoying playing as Portsmouth manager and I'm enjoying doing the series. Um, I'm actually caught up pretty much now. So in terms of, I'm not, I haven't recorded any in advance really. I'm recording this um, early in the, in the early hours of the morning on Tuesday, the 30th of June um so effectively kind of monday night and this is probably going to go up on wednesday so i'm not really far ahead um so it gives you a chance to interact with me a bit better um i'm probably going to get further ahead later in the week so maybe sort of maybe wednesday thursday i'll probably record a few episodes um but i'm trying to say as up to date as possible to try and give you guys something it just it, if i'm up to if i'm up to if i'm sort of up to date and it's close like it was today i only recorded tuesday's video about four hours ago um on monday night so it it doesn't give me much leeway if i want to just have an eye off i don't really have the opportunity to do that this is why i bulk record sometimes um but like i said if you are enjoying please leave a like on the video please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already take care and goodbye